I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Tor Nation Production Studio, here is anchor Isaiah Courtney. Reporting from the worldwide headquarters of Tor Nation Productions, located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to Good Morning Ball High. I'm Isaiah Courtney. Attention juniors, it is time to order your class rings. Balfour will be on campus to size fingers and take orders next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday during all lunch periods in the Commons area. A $50 deposit is needed to place your order. Don't forget to order your class ring on those dates and take advantage of the discounts. The Key Club will be cleaning up the World War II San Jacinto Fort on the east end of the island from 9 to noon on Saturday. Meet at Ball High at 8.30. See Mr. Rousko for further details. Dr. Hockman is sponsoring an EF Choice trip to Costa Rica in early July. If interested, please pick up the Parent Guardian RSVP form from Dr. Hockman in room 2080. The interest meeting will be held this evening at 6 p.m. in room 2080. Attention all students! Have you heard there are many new clubs that are starting up this week? New clubs include financial literacy, robotics, esports, tour girls, yoga, and the art factory. Check the Jumbotron in the cafeteria or see Dr. Ramirez for further details. Also, the Philosophy Club will be starting to meet next month. Weekly meetings will be held on Tuesday in room 2041. See Mr. May for further information. Attention all students! Any student who is already 18 or will be 18 by November 6th is eligible to vote in Texas, as long as you are registered. Please come by the library by tomorrow if you still need to register. Any teacher who still needs to register may also pick up a form in the library. Any questions, check with Ms. Neff or Ms. D. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors! The deadline to submit an application for the Galveston Career Connect program, better known as GCC, is tomorrow. If you are interested in earning a certification in welding, information technology, engineering, electronics, patient care tech, or emergency medical technician, please see Ms. Hernandez in the GCC office today. There is no cost to join GCC and everyone gets accepted. Pick up an application today in 1092C. Also, an important reminder about dress code regarding students wearing jeans with rips and tears. There may be no exposed areas above the knee. The proper way to cover these exposed areas is to wear tights. As ridiculous as it may seem, the APs report that students try to cover with paper or tape. This is not allowed. Today's picture of the day salutes Tour Nation Productions, refreshing our TV set. And on today's calendar, it's National Crush a Can Day. Now let's see what's trending in social media with Rory. Thanks, Isaiah. And here's what's trending today on social media. Have you noticed sausages scream when you cook them? Blind Dog uses personal seeing dog to assist him around. And is climate change to blame for bear attacks? Back to you, Isaiah. Here's today's Fitness Minute with Annette Hammond. It's the Fitness Minute with fitness expert, Annette Hammond. When it comes to exercise, don't overdo it. Some people push so hard for so long that they just burn out. And it's estimated that 10% of all exercisers experience burnout at one time or another. I monitor my clients, watch their workouts, and tell them to listen to their bodies. If you begin to feel more worn out than energized, despite your best exercise effort, it's time to scale back your fitness routine a little. Remember that your body needs time to adjust and adapt and that the progress of exercise is made during the recovery period. If you don't give your body proper rest, you may find that you're taking one step forward and two steps back. Keep your exercise moderate and enjoyable, and most importantly, keep it consistent. For the Fitness Minute, I'm Annette Hammond. Visit our Facebook fan page at Fitness Minute with Annette Hammond. Here's today's Words You've Never Heard segment. As a visual language, emoji has already far eclipsed hieroglyphics, its ancient Egyptian precursor, which took centuries to develop. The word emoji is directly translated from Japanese, with the E meaning picture and moji meaning character. 
of the 5 billion emojis sent daily around the world, the face with tears of joy is used the most. Many people use emojis as a kind of shorthand, or if they want to express emotion but can't find the words or are in a hurry. What's the word for the inability to concentrate due to being in a rush? Aprosexia. I'm thinking if emojis had been around in Tolstoy's day, it would have been possible to finish reading War and Peace in about 20 minutes. It's words you never heard. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. In addition to the website, Time Rewind can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check it out for even more pop culture and trivia. I'm Isaiah, and have a terrific day. Ooh. <laughs>